They don't need as much because, of course, Lucian is a little safer than Cogmore. But in terms of the play styles, SK are more assassin focused, more burst damage with front necks because of the fact that Jezus is going to have Spirit Rush. So, unless he uh, punishes a Spirit Rush flash window, uh, Jezus can play very safe. It's going to be difficult to kill a tree. That Maokai is always, always difficult to kill, despite the fact he doesn't even have too many tanky items yet. <laughs> now, Jerry's oh, caught out. Jerry's in trouble. Immediately, three members coming in. The quick Cataclysm jumps in. As Vesco and the pounce out. Mega Inferno Bomb does not find his target. Connex is going to go down. It's a one for one trade. Meanwhile, Candy Panda chasing on towards Kurt. He's got caught out. Jerry. Here comes Kurt around the side. Bouncing bomb comes in. Candy but it's just, it's one of these scenarios where SK's comp will be very good at reacting to a mistake by Millennium. And if SK can look for skirmishes, their team's going to do very, very well. Maokai, Kha'Zix, Ari in side lane fights. All right, another top lane battle. Enrage has been done. No flash this time around. Cataclysm and cooling catching on towards him. Soul Shackle's used. Teleport cancelled out there. Megan Oh, that's close. No, that was smite. very close. Good smite from Sven. So, lose a tower and a kill, but they do get Dragon out of the trade. Still keeps them at uh -oh. 100 gold apart. Jay Ree is going to be looking for one. He's got it rated. And rated is the target. Is it going to be enough? Come slide it back in. He will be knocked up. Who's going to go down though? Connex tanking the turret. He will drop. Oh, will he? Jay Ree caught out there. Candy Panda gets one. Let's look down the river. Nobody. Work out. Freddy is going to get jumped by the cow. Yeah, the cow coming in. There's the headbutt. And twisted advance interrupted it. Pulverize catches him. Taking a lot of damage here. He's going to get the cooldown back up in a moment. Kraton pops up. Builds all the cut. It tries to get him slowed down with the blade of the ring Sorry. Kraton will get on towards him. He's taking too many tower hits. The Jerry has to back off. Now Sven Skerin comes around the side. Leaps in. Gets the reset. He can go towards Con next now. Teleport comes in. Kevin's going to join the party. And race it. Soul Shackle catching on three members. Kevin chases on towards him. The AD carry. So the juggler caught out. Top lane. It goes down. Brood well, will come up, but he's got nowhere to go. He cannot take Candy Panda down in time. Life still holding on strong. Is he got enough? He's got no support. Everybody backed away and left him. Yeah, they were trying to leave the final hit for Candy Panda. Good use, actually. The uh, headbutt just outside of tower range. So he didn't pull the aggro. Oh, here comes Freddy from behind with the good teleport. Oh, that's going to catch out. Sapling will get the slowdown on Jerry. Pops the ultimate, comes straight on towards him. Kraton's going to get focused. He'll get dropped down. Jerry in trouble. Knock up flashes away from this one. Ultimate running. Some said, is it going to be enough to reduce? Oh, he dodges out. It's not enough. He will go down. To it's that same sort of build where you get that couple of seconds of super power spike. But with the changes to the Relentless Pursuit, oh, we'll get to that in a second. There may be a fight breaking out. This is a 2v2 tops and jungles. The catch on towards Freddy. In comes Sven A lot of damage going down. No blood well available for Kevin. That ultimate's getting him a good a lot, a lot of life still. Not enough. Connex now in trouble. He may well be focused. Good twist to advance. Gets not back. Freddy is going to catch on towards him. Oh, he slid away. Mega Inferno Bomb comes in. Catches both movement speed that you get from his relentless pursuit and how frequently you can get it up it actually makes him even more mobile darting in and out but the problem is when you can't even stand two or three auto attacks from a cogmore you're never going to be alive long enough to Ooh. have that mobility make sense they've caught the cow jb in trouble has to use the ultimate is it going to be enough remember it's a 70 cent reduction but when that so much is hitting you it's just Sudden they're looking trouble. kills. Take a look at this. Very proactive from SK. Freddy's going to Oh, dear. He's dead. Freddy's on. Wow. Just strolling on through his own jungle. Not a care in the world. Skill shot. When the charm lands or when the dark binding lands, SK Gaming can just dive themselves in. There's a Sunfire Cape on Freddy. Uh, nearly fully stacked, actually. I think that's a fully stacked Rod of Ages. It is, as well as a Negatron Cloak. He's very, very tanky before his ultimate comes into effect. So SK Gaming are just going to look for their opportunities, look for the target, and they've found one. They've found one. He's going to pile in there. Connex comes around the side. He gets dropped. Candy Panda gets another one. Kevin picked off. Bloodwell goes down. Kratos does get himself one kill. Freddy was dropped, but that will be the top lane of Kevin picked off. Candy Panda very low. Theoretical <laughs> trade. But Dragon goes the way of SK and Millennium still just trying to find an opening. Millennium trying to make something happen. I think... I just think it's taking too long for them. They're going to need Kerb to land post. <laughs> And then Kevin and Cotton next to instantly blow up Candy Panda. If they don't do that, I don't think Millennium can win a team fight at this stage. And for SK, oh, Candy Panda caught out. Here they're going to slide in. Cataclysm catches it out. He will turn the dark point into Soul Shackles around, but that's not enough. When you're ready, they, I think they realize that it's happening, but 
They can't get close enough here. They can't break through. Look at the front line. Maokai, Morgana, and Ari. Anybody that comes through that's going to get locked down is going to get blown up. And of course, you know, Kha'Zix has had changes to those ISO uh, spells, so he's dealing more damage to single targets. Baron's been secured. Let's see if Freddy can get away. The rest of SK, they're coming in close. This is going to be a big a big fight. They're trying so much to take down that gigantic tank. McConnex is dead. Jesus comes in, blows him up. Jay Reed taking the damage. Grant's going to try and focus. So let's go and jump away. Kirk called out and take down. Freddy is going to get dropped here. Kraton jumps on towards him. Jess has poked out as well. Millennium cleaning up here. There's a two for two so far. They're going to continue chasing. Who's the front man? That's the question. Who gets caught? That's that's what's going to happen. happen. Jay Reed caught with another dark binding. But he is not going to be the sacrificial cow this time around. They will not go deep on that curb. Getting caught out. Jay Reed actually taking it. Dragon was separated at the side. SK going to try and look to engage here. Kevin out of position. Could get twisted advance on. He will. Gets knocked up. He's in trouble. He's got his blood well available. Tries to turn it back around. They focus on towards Jensen, but it's just not enough damage. Can he find the focus? He goes down. Now can Creaton get going on the sidelines? He's on the back at the moment. Can he start picking up kills? Can he find it? Did get another a Cathy and surprise down. So let's go and take it low. Oh, creaton has gone too deep. Jensen's going to pick him up and will find him out. And just simply... They had minions pushing against him in the top lane. They're pushing. So They're Millennium pushing. Millennium are feeling confident. They they feel they've hit some power spikes. The threats are still there. Freddy's going to jump into the middle. They've split up SK. Freddy comes around the side. He's got in between five members. Kirk taking a lot of damage. He's very, very low. Kevin has got enough damage on towards him. That's it. Mid laner down. They're going to try and catch up. Soul Shackers from their rating will lock up Millennium. Connex is singled out next. That's going to be another down. They're going to keep on chasing this one. Fred Jerry. Sorry, Chris. Away with a couple hundred hit points, teleports in to get the inhibitor. Now, this minion is going to be here in a few seconds' time. SK may not even need them. They're looking to finish this completely. The wave clear was with Kerb, but Kerb is not there. 5v3, this is the final fight. It's going to be a quick pulverize. Jerry hasn't got the damage though to do anything. He is simply a support cow, not an aggressive top laner. That is going to be Millennium Ace. That is going to be SK taking game one of the series here. It is a best of five, ladies and gentlemen, but SK starting off incredibly strong here it took them a while 46 minutes but they won the game nonetheless and honestly it's a game they've had control throughout slow and steady wins the race